Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new conditions feature in Oxygen 2.4 to set up an element that only displays if the user viewing it has a specific cookie set in their browser. This comes in handy for behavioral context type of situations where you want to show an element only to a user if they've been to a specific page or haven't been to a specific page. In this case, we've got an example site set up here, and our goal with this site is to get people to go to our events, right? So we have our events link up here, which is prominently featured to try to get people to click it. And then we've got this call to action, new events coming up. Now this call to action, we only want to show this to people who have shown interest in events, so we only want to show it to people who have actually clicked the events button and viewed this page. So to set that up, we're going to use the conditions feature and let's jump into the back end and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So let's go to pages. And first we're going to go ahead and set up our cookie because we have to use a bit of PHP to set the cookie when someone visits this page. So we'll go to our incredible info page, which is actually our events page. Click edit with oxygen. All right, so on this page, we're going to have to add a code block and use a bit of PHP to register our cookie. So we're going to click add, type in code block, and this is going to drop it in here at the bottom of our page, which is fine. It doesn't matter where it's at on the page. Let's go into the PHP and HTML editor, and we're going to replace this echo with a set cookie function. So I already have it on my clipboard. I'm going to paste it in here and explain what it's doing. So we have the set cookie function here. And the first parameter of the function is the name of the cookie we want to set, which in this case is events. The second parameter is the value of that cookie. And since the value doesn't matter, we're just checking if the cookie exists at all. We just set it to one. And then the third parameter is how long we want this cookie to last. So in this case, I've used string to time to set it to 30 days. So this cookie will remain for 30 days and then it will be purged from the browser. Finally, we have the domain parameter. And since we want this to be available everywhere on this site, we just set it to a forward slash. Now, there are different ways to set cookies. You can change the expiration and you can specify more explicitly the domain. But for this example, we're going with the simplest way to set a cookie, which is this code here. So now that this code block lives on this page, this PHP, the set cookie function, will run when this page is visited, which means that events cookie will exist after a user has been to the events page. So that's all we need to do on this page. Now we need to save this and let's jump back to the admin panel and go to pages. And we're going to go to our home page now and edit that with oxygen. Now let's scroll down to the section which we only want to show to people who have been to the events page, which is this here. So let's select the section and go to the conditions icon at the top of the properties pane and click set conditions. Now we're going to add a condition and we're going to choose cookie list, which defaults to contains for the operator. And we're going to type in the name of the cookie that we set up, which is events. Now let's close that out and save this. That's pretty much it. So let's jump into the front end and test. So first we're going to just look at it as a logged in user who has been to the events page. We see that, but let's try running through the experience as a new visitor. So we're going to open up an incognito window and we'll paste in the URL to our page. And if we scroll down, we see our regular page, but that call to action is not there. That's exactly what we want for a new user. Now, if they express interest in events by clicking our events button, we're checking out events, great. We decide for whatever reason, we're not interested right this moment, but we might be later. Let's go back to the home page. And now if we scroll down, we have this new events coming up section, which shows for this user because that cookie that we designated on the events page is now registered in their browser. So what this allows you to do is a kind of internal retargeting where you can 
make elements show based on cookies and the cookies represent a user's interest in certain things on the site. Uh, alternatively, you could also use the same exact method to show an element to users who don't have a cookie. So let's jump back to our page here and we'll just take a quick look at that. If we wanted to show this to someone who has not been to the events page, we would go into our condition and instead of choosing cookie list contains events, we would choose does not contain. So then that would only show to users who had not been to the events page. So then we could change this to something like, hey, check out our events because we know they haven't checked the events out yet. So using conditions with the cookie list can be very powerful and allow you to use behavioral targeting on your site. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and that's how to set up an element that's shown only to users who have been or have not been to a specific page on your site using the conditions feature in Oxygen 2.4. Thank you for watching.